Welcome back. Well, I'm shiny today. It's January in Illinois. Yeah, I'm in Illinois. It, it's dry. So like, I have so much lotion on. Night cream, day cream, extra hydrating cream. Okay, anyway. So I just finished my second hour of the Safe and Sound protocol or SSP. Um, actually, well, I finished it about half an hour ago. And when I got out of there, I was just feeling kind of peaceful and quiet. So I have my radio on shuffle, which is not something that I normally do, but like there's nothing in particular I want to listen to. I don't know if that's like part of this or not. I just, I don't care. And I don't care in a good way. And I got to tell you, when I left yesterday, that's kind of how I felt too. Like calm and I don't fucking care. Not in a bad way, just like you can't bother me, I don't fucking care. Like, mm, mm. Um, I don't know if that's part of that or if that's something else. I have no idea. Um, I guess I'll find out tomorrow when I go. Well, tomorrow's day three. Um, I guess I'm not gonna feel the greatest tomorrow if I have anxiety issues. I will be feeling slightly anxious. Um, so I'm just gonna give everybody in my world a heads up and then like hide out. But I've pretty much been hiding out in general because I have, I've quit all my volunteer gigs, which I had two or three. They sucked up a lot of my time. I'm just, I gave up social media a few weeks ago. So I'm just chilling in my own little flipping world, just psh, because I just want to be at peace and I'm not at peace like on the inside. I'm trying to move forward and but I'm like stuck and I can't even explain how stuck I am. You know, I hired a life coach over the summer. I'm still working with that life coach. I have like committed a contract for a year. And you know, she's got me doing action and taking action and I am taking the action, but it is so fucking hard to do and it shouldn't be this hard. Like this, it sh the action she wants me to take shouldn't be that hard. Like why can I not drink this much water? Why can I not work on this project? Why am I so distracted? And so I decided like uh, about four weeks ago to go see a psychotherapist because I've seen psychiatrist, I've talked to a lot of counselors, and I've gotten some help and benefit from that. I do not want to be on drugs, but there is something like wrong with me, and I don't like the way it feels. And then after going over my history and my stuff that has happened to me in the past um, 12 years, especially as far as like lawsuits and being stalked, stalked and like people threatening to kill me and wishing I was dead. I mean, it's just like weirdo fucking shit that most people don't go through. So I think I thought I was over it, but instead it's got like deeply buried in my nervous system and it gets triggered. Like the sound of a fax machine will put me through the roof. Thank God people don't use them much anymore, but like it because of the stuff that happened with the fucking fax machine. Like, it was just, it's crazy. So, I'm working on this to get to the bottom of it. And I did not know that this SSP therapy was an option. When I talked to my, and let me tell you, so, like, I'm a business owner, a wife, a mother, I'm a very high-functioning person. And when I tell you I have issues, it's not like holding me back and stopping me from going forward. It's just I could go forward so much faster if it wasn't fucking there. So like, get out, whatever, get out, in the brain, get out. So that's why I'm doing this. Also, I think what a lot of people, this surprised me as you move up your ladder in life and as you become more accomplished in things, you will find that other people who are moving up in the world. They don't do it by themselves, okay? They don't do that because they're perfectly sound mind. Most people have mentors, life coaches, therapists. They figure themselves out so they can go and move on. And 
quite a few of my girlfriends, mom friends, business friends. Um, some like a couple of them have done SSP. Nobody really talked about it before, but it does help immensely. And you know, like pe I have friends that have done uh, EMR and hypnotherapy and that. So I find this interesting like you can actually change your fucking brain for the better you can also change it for the worse so you know be conscious of what you do but it's day two i'm feeling good like i'm just pshht. and i'm gonna go to work now and um that's it tomorrow's day three it should be interesting i will let you know how i feel after that Maybe I can't let you know how I feel after that because I'm too anxious. I don't know. I will talk to you tomorrow.